Namaste everyone and welcome back to Live Stronger. Today we are going to work on our legs. So I am starting off with my dynamic stretches, the greatest stretch and the hip opener and a deep squat. For the greatest stretch, you already know the drill as you can see on your left side. Simple 5 repetitions on each side. For the hip opener, again on your, uh, you can see on your right side, one knee down one leg up and you push your knees way forward to your uh, then your uh, toes feel an extraordinary stretch in your inner thighs use using a weight is optional if you don't want to use a weight you don't need to uh, use a weight but if you want a little bit of exaggeration of the stretch a little bit more pressure on the muscle you can uh, hold on to a kettlebell like I am doing here or you can use a dumbbell. You can also use a plate. It might not be very comfortable holding a plate but still you can still use it. So we do 5 repetitions on each side for both the dynamic stretches. And then we move on to for our third one we move on to a deep squat to open our hips for all the squatting movements we are going to do today. So I first lean forward causing a, by pushing my glutes behind causing a stretch in my hamstrings and then I go into a deep squat use the kettlebell weight to balance myself and also pressure my inner thighs and open my hips much more and shift my weight onto one leg at a time causing a stretch in my calf muscles. So that's it for our dynamic stretches and now let's move on to our warm-up exercises for our warm-up exercises I'm going to start with two sets of empty bar squats so if you are comfortable you can use the Olympic bar if not you can use a smaller bar if you're not comfortable even using a bar you can just do regular body weight squats I try to get 15 to 20 repetitions for two time uh, two sets in my second set, I try to be a little bit quicker doing partial repetitions to get more blood flowing into my quads, get more engagement. Today, I'm, I'm doing squats as a more quad based exercise. So the bar is placed high up on my back. So once we are done with our warm up sets, that's a, that is the two sets. You can also choose to uh, do deep squats. That's absolutely a choice. I just choose to go parallel height. We start with a working set. We are going to do three work, uh, working sets. Try to get 8 to 10 repetitions of a challenging weight. Here I have loaded the bar with uh, 25 kilo plates on each side. So that's about 50 kilos. And the biggest and most important cue of squatting is to brace your core so when before going down you take a deep big breath into your stomach and then tighten your core as much as you can and then go down and come up and release the air take your time on every repetition there is no hurry you don't have to do it in a very quick manner do it slow and steady when you go down use your glutes to stabilize yourself and then consciously use both your legs quad muscles at a time to stand up straight one more thing you can notice i don't step way far from my rack i always make sure i just stand nearby the rack so if if I feel any kind of imbalance or discomfort, it's just one step I take forward and I can rack the weight. So second set, the drill is again same. Make sure you take deep, big breath, push your stomach out, brace your core and then go down. Once you come up, you can release your air and again take big breath. Do the repetition slow and steady they will still be challenging enough you don't have to hurry through the process hardly takes any time to complete eight to ten repetitions but make sure you use a challenging weight we'll keep trying to increase the weight in our squats 
in between the sets i recommend taking more than 90 seconds of break because squats themselves are compound is a compound exercise and are quite demanding so you might feel a raise in your heartbeat and also get tired very quickly so take a two minute break if required in between sets but otherwise you should be good to go so i've completed my three sets felt good my quads were fired up and we move on to our next exercise for our next exercise i'm going to work on my abductors in here uh, when i mean abductors the mostly my focus is on my glutes on my on my side glutes that's my glute medius and glute minimus while do if you don't have this particular equipment you can do the same exercise using resistance bands by putting resistance bands and trying to open your knees up but i mean the resistance band should be around your knees and then you try to open your knees far apart i've done three sets again 12 repetitions progressed my weight a little bit for my second and third set but kept it the same my entire focus at all times was to feel my side glutes fire and try to slow down the process of uh, coming back to the midline of my body stretch my legs out as much as possible and we are done with our second exercise uh, second exercise for my third exercise i did hamstring curls again the motive here is to get as much curl as possible remember i always treat my hamstrings like biceps so when i want to curl them i try to push as far behind as possible took a good challenging weight focused on getting 12 repetitions for three sets the break in between is always 60 to 90 seconds by now my legs were completely uh, fired up i had a lot of blood running in between i also noticed a little bit of misfire on my third set of hamstring curls but that's okay that's because of the heavy squats i have done after a long time so for my second and third set if you can if you notice when i'm going down when i'm curling down i try to be a little bit explosive i try to push it as fast as possible and then as it comes back up i try to control the weight a bit slowly make sure your body is in contact with the bench at all times you don't want to be moving away from the bench or losing contact with the backrest or the seat you can take a good two minute break after this exercise even three minutes if you require and then we move on to our next exercise for our next exercise i'm going to work on my adductors by adductors i mean my inner thighs a bit of quad activation side quad, inner th inner uh, quads too but more, uh, mostly my inner thighs so again uh, two sets 12 repetitions challenging weight here when i mean challenging weight i'm not pushing much you can do the same exercise using again resistance bands you can place the resistance band on a fixed support and with one leg try to uh, you know uh, tie one leg up with the resistance band to a fixed support and then pull it towards the stationary leg you will still be working your inner thighs i have done this previously in my previous workouts using resistance bands so if you have this particular equipment at your disposal it's awesome if not you can still do it using resistance bands if you don't have resistance band you can still do abductor exercise that is working on your glute medius and minimus for adductors it would be a bit challenging because uh, there is not much of a uh, work or resistance to move your legs towards the midline of your body 
at as it is the natural position of your body there is not much of a resistance so you would need to give an external resistance to exercise these muscles your inner thighs getting my last few reps by now my legs were completely done they were shivering and i had intense amount of uh, tightness coming up my quads and my outer thigh try to push for the last few repetitions the moment i make faces such as that i know that i got my challenging reps in so i'm pretty satisfied and we are done with our exercises now we move on to our static stretches to finish off our day i hope you like the workout if you were able to complete all the exercises and you did enjoy and got a good pump in your legs please do like this video if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel i would request you to do so because that would really help me pushing further for my static stretches i am doing the quad stretch which we have done previously just take one leg into your hand stand straight and pull it uh the hand uh, the leg which is in your hand just pull it try to touch your glutes behind and you cause a quad stretch for hamstrings again we have done this pre uh, previously place your foot on at a height and slowly push your glutes behind causing a stretch in your hamstrings i thank everyone who are watching this video i would really appreciate any kind of feedback if you have if you share it through comments i would try to go through all of them but otherwise again i hope this particular workout day has been effective for you please do like the video if you did thank you so much and you have a good day